All right, you already know it. Here we are with another DVD video. What's up, guys? Coco here, and welcome. We are going to be running one of my favorite builds here, and this one is the Forever Exposed build. Now, this could be really good for us, or we could get in a lot of trouble. So we're going to do our best to see what we could do against Vecna, or against these survivors as Vecna, as we are running a full-on assault, trying our best and seeing what we can do. Oh, barely missed him. Hopefully he doesn't get that vault. Damn me those cheeks, boy. So what we're going to be running is Starstruck. So as we pick this up, if it activates, we will be able to get someone injured. So hopefully maybe someone's over here. Let's see if it activates or not. Looks like it did. Might be some survivors up here. Don't hear anything. Let's go ahead and fly. Let's see if we see anyone. No one's over here. We do have a totem that's tucked in over there. So we have two really good totems. Let's see if anyone is over there. And some good totems over there too as well. So our whole entire build is revolved around. Yes. Let's see. Got some people over here. Yep. I think I just saw someone over here, right? No. Okay, cool. So our whole build revolves around people getting um, one-shotted. Don't see anyone over here. Very interesting. We do know that someone is upstairs. We have the heartbeat. So let's go up there and interrupt whoever is working on that totem. And then... I wish to see. Watch oh, yeah, there she is. Perfect. Let's go ahead and swing early. Perfect. She tried to hide it within us. Nice. Oh, that was so awesome. Perfect. It looks like Fang's getting stuck in a mimic, I think. <laughs> I think she's getting stuck in a mimic. Let's go ahead and just bring her up here just so that we can get him away from our totem and also to have a very um, far hook for later. We're going to throw that because it's going to go between two gens right there. And let's see if we find anyone over here. Not at all. We'll probably go over here. Probably going to make my way this way because they might be on that gem. Oh, and they finished that one. Very nice. All right. Actually, what we could do is use fly. Let's try to cut them off. Ah, oh, we were just too close. Didn't even see those scratch marks. Very unfortunate. Let's get Fang. She looks scared. She looks like she doesn't know what she's doing. That's totally fine. We'll take that hit right there. Let's go ahead and pick him up. And she dc She cannot handle it. Who DCs on their first chase? That girl said, nah, man, I'm not made for this. Your life slips away. I'm not made for this. Let's see what we have here. Nothing. Let's go ahead and kick this. I'm going to go ahead and get as far away as I can. Just so that we can get away from the hook. Yep, there goes Mr. Mr. Cage himself. Let's see if that gets him. Ooh, just barely. And we're looking, looking for a, uh, let's go this way. Nice. We did get a stack right there. Perfect hit right there, too. We got two stacks. And we're sitting pretty. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use fly. Let's catch up to him. Oh, what's Fang doing here? Oh, that's a fake Fang. Oh, that got me, dude. That got me. That was really good. Let's see. Do we have the hand? Yeah, we do have the hand. Let's do this. He's going to vault. Yep. And we should be able to get him because he staggered. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So we're about to unlock our exposed status effect. They got one of our totems. And they are in for a world of hate. So I'm going to do this just to kind of see if we can get some detection while we go in that direction. There goes Fang. And look at her. She doesn't even know what to do. We're going to do this. They're going to throw it. Oh, they didn't vault back. Nice. And there's another person right there. Let's see if we can get another snowball effect. Yep, yep, yep. Look at Kate. She does not know what to do. This girl's like, what am I doing with my life? And that should be a hit. Yep. We'll go ahead and grab her. Hopefully someone gets that save. Yeah, they're running away. And let's do this. 
I'll let them get the save over there. That's fine, Baby Fang. There goes our third stack. We hear her screaming. Hopefully that girl doesn't like die or on hook. Hopefully they still play the game. And we're gonna get away from that hook as much as we can. Because we know they're gonna unhook their friend. So if we let them get this. Yep, there goes our fourth stack. I'm gonna get away on purpose. And let them do their thing. We should get our fifth stack. And look at that, we get the haste too as well. And there we go, let's cook. Where's our last totem? In a really good spot. Yep. Um, let's do that. Just to see if they're running in that direction, you know? But at this point, there's no point in healing. And Fang, you're our first victim. And I see a lot of people here. So we're going to go and get the hit. And this girl right here too as well. <laughs> and we are getting three Moris in one. Holy crap. Old soul. That is wild, dude. That is wild. Where's baby Fang? That is wild. Let's get Fang too. You can see the bones above. Join my army. Give me your bones. <laughs> Where'd the other girl go? Look at her, trying to crawl away. Uh-uh. Come here, baby. There it is, and then there was one. Let's go ahead and fly around, see if we can find the hatch. Dude, just look at the power of this build, man. The power of this build, being able to one-shot people and just end it. To end the game early is so awesome. And do that just to see if the she found it. But you could just see right there. If we even wanted to be more ruthless, we could have left everyone on the ground and then tried to find that last survivor. But that is so crazy. Why they DC? Couldn't handle the <laughs> handle the build. I guess. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. GG's well played. Look out there. It's crazy. You could have had a better chance. They could have, honestly. Honestly, honestly. Honestly, right? But yeah, you just see Devour Hope is so good. When you get that third stack, it just snowballs if and we had a really good totem spot that last one they did find devour hope or they did find um our one of our totems that activated haunted grounds which was super cool just being able to get the instant down that helped us get you know the snowball effect going this gave us that one up so we had an extra chance to have a uh, totem alive and then also to starstruck just letting us know that someone's exposed and that really even though you don't get that exposed hit it does bring that fear factor in where people tend to hide and then they're not doing gens. So that in a sense can be like a pseudo slowdown perk for gens. You know, you don't necessarily have to run it, but if they do want to do the gens and you come into their vicinity, then they're going to suffer for it. I do love this, just lowering your terror radius so you can kind of sneak up on people a little bit. And then also to this, giving you more skulls to hit people with. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe for more future content. I'm also doing coaching too, so if you want to get better at your killer games as well i have a link in the description below metify.com or metify.tg slash coco jobro love to help you guys out there too but we have more videos coming so make sure to hit that subscribe button thank you so much for supporting my content and i'll see you guys in the next one take care everybody